Well, hello, Indian Hill. I'm Alexandra Boster. And I am the super-spirited Josh Obermeyer. We've had a new studded homecoming week. Let's check out what's been going on. This Tuesday, we had a record-setting attendance at Volley for the Cure. As one spectator put it, I had the time of my life. Way to go in your support to fight breast cancer, dog women. Down to the final strokes, your Braves Golf Tribe came through to advance through sectionals by one stroke. Good luck as you eagle your way on to districts. Stephen Hawking, Bill Nye, and now Mitchell James Hardy. Hey there, Indian Hill. I'm Mitch Hardy here with the Braves Beat Science Plan. And today we're going to take a look at energy, potential or kinetic. You tell me. Today we have three things that we will drop from this very, very extremely high roof. We have first, a big jug of water. Secondly, an old Dide Pod touch. And third, freshman hipster Harry. Let's begin. Our first object to be thrown, a jug of water. Throwers, are we ready? Here we go. In three, two, and one. Ooh. Oh! Our next item of business, an iPod touch. Throwers, are we ready? In three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Our final item today, freshman, famous freshman, Hipster Harry. Throwers, are we ready? Ready! In three, two, and one. Thank you for watching the Braves Beat Science Clan this week. I'm Mitch Hardy. See you next time. They brain blasted all over those electronics. Good work, boys. This past Saturday, the Indian Hill Braves marching band absolutely killed it at the Coleraine Invitational. Winning best percussion and first place, the clan put it all on the field with an outstanding performance. Make sure to check them out while they perform their halftime show during tonight's game. The first key club meeting is this Wednesday. It is an ice cream social, so make sure you come to the MP room and make Sundays with us. It'll be a lot of fun, and you won't want to miss the plans for the exciting upcoming year in Kid Club. Let's check in with our pride pillar. Are you guys kidding me? Are you kidding me? Have you seen this? Come to the annual Activate Fair? Activ activity? I have a three month old child who is capable of better than this. Where's the pride? Do you? You're looking at me like you have, look at this. this. This is going out in front of a whole school. Do your parents not love you? Did you not get hugged today? What is the problem? Do you have no pride in your work? This is embarrassing. Do not make me go get the sledgehammer. Swear to God I will. I'm done. Show your pride this homecoming weekend. Students, today is the last day to buy your homecoming tickets. They will be available during each lunch. They will not be sold at the door tomorrow night. Paper amp airplanes, fact or fiction? Let's find out. The paper airplane has been a renowned figure in classrooms across the world for decades. But what really is a paper airplane? Paper or airplane? Today we explore the flights, physics, and magic of these amazing feats of technology. Hello, and welcome to 60 Seconds. Hello, I'm here with Dr. Jet Goldberg, plane specialist. I was informed you brought us some planes today. I did, CJ. Today I brought him four models. First, I'd like to talk about the Harrier. She's got a great glide. If you give her the right throw, the right folds, she'll fly. The swashbuckler's next, otherwise known as the bat due to its wide wingspan. She'll glide. You got to throw her right, though. The rod. It's got a, it's, it was named after its long, slender, rod-like body and she'll fly real fast. It's otherwise known as the dart. This here's the Green Goblin glider, and she just glides. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you for joining us. It's been my pleasure. Could you please explain to me the physics behind paper airplanes? Sure, it's really all about forces and motion. And so when you throw in a paper airplane, it's going to be flying not in level flight, but it's going to be slowly decreasing in height. We have the force of gravity pulling it down. We have this force of lift trying to counteract gravity, and we have this thing called air friction. Thank you for joining us on 60 Seconds. I'm C.J. Allen, signing off. I know I can't wait to go home today and work on my paper airplanes. 
And now it is time for Tweets of the Week. Attention student body, if your dad calls you in sick but you go to a music fest in set, instead, the almighty powerful D. Flint Jr. will catch you. Hannah Brockman and Lee Rixey would know. Have you found the proper attire for homecoming yet? Mitch Hardy announces that he too has found the perfect homecoming dress. Before we go, we'd like to thank our artists, Kara Corrangle and Katerina Neans. It looks alluring. We'd also like to remind you to like our Braves Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Be sure to come out to the homecoming game tonight at 7 at Tomahawk Stadium to support the Braves as they debacle Deer Park. Blackout tonight, so let's blackout Tomahawk. Have a happy Jewish New Year and a wonderful weekend, Braves. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. I'm here with the man, Mitch Muscle Man Hardy. Mitch, how do you think you did out there today? You know, we did a really good job out there, I thought. It was an overall great performance and something to grow from, you know, a lot of young people and it, it's, a, it's a good, good first start.